Hey guys, and welcome back to another DIY. I fell in love with the idea of rhinestone boots and I went and saw them in a Steve Madden store. If you guys have seen my shopping for extra sparkly prom dresses video, you know what I'm talking about, but they inspired me to make them for myself. So here is a little before and after of the boots. As you can see, they were not in the best condition and they've kind of been sitting on my shelf for a long time. So this was the perfect project to take them back out. And if you'd like to see how I made them and how you can make them yourself, just keep on watching. Now for this DIY, you're going to need some boots, a one yard rhinestone sheet, two tubes of E6000, scissors, a chopstick, and some nail polish. And these were the boots I used as my base. I got them from Payless ages ago and they've given me many years of faithful service, but as you can see, the faux leather shell was peeling and cracking off in many spots. So I thought that these would be perfect for this project. So I grabbed my boots, my E6000, and my rhinestone sheet and got to work. The rhinestone sheet was from Planet Rhinestone, I'll link them down below for you guys, but it was so beautiful I didn't want to cut it up, so I took lots of pictures and videos to remember how gorgeous it was. Now before I could start gluing, I had to peel off all the faux leather exterior. This was the longest part of this whole process, but it was also the most satisfying. I would say it took me about 7 or 8 episodes of Lucifer to finish both boots. Then when all of the shell was removed, they look exactly like this, soft gray boots. I didn't go too crazy in making sure I got every last piece, just enough so that the glue wouldn't peel off. Then I laid my boots down on my rhinestone sheet and mapped out how much I would need. I wanted to leave room for the zipper, so I started my measurements there. Now be sure to leave room to fold over the sheet at the top opening of each boot, so then it looks more seamless. And then I began the process of gluing down the sheet to the boot. I laid down some E6000, then spread it around with my finger at first. But I found later that using a cut up chopstick worked much better. And you don't have to cover the entire boot with glue, I just used the glue around the outside of the bottom as well as in several strips up the sides. That way your rhinestones will be a bit more flexible. And using a pair of metal friendly scissors, I cut along the outside of the boot to make the shape very close fitting. And as I got towards the heel, I started to rip the metal pieces apart with my hands as well. And here I used clothespins to hold the sheet down onto the glue I'd put up on the side by the zipper. This was very helpful because it freed up my hands to glue down other sections while that was drying. Now at first, I wanted to completely cover up the zipper with rhinestones, but I ended up changing that later on. Once the glue is on, I just held the sheet onto the boot, pressing down. Waiting for the glue to dry was another tedious part of this DIY, but it definitely got easier the higher up on the boot that I went. To cover bigger areas, I just used my hands to press down and smooth the glue as you see here. Now once I had glued down all of the pieces, I cut out the zipper opening.
And for the heel, I cut a slit up the back so I could more easily wrap up the stones around the shape of the heel without leaving any gaps. And then I just repeated that whole process for the other boot. Now here, as you can see, there is an empty spot on the bottom side of my boot. I just ended up cutting out a small panel of rhinestones to fit that space. I did not measure twice, cut once, so I will recommend you guys do that. Don't do what I did, measure twice and then cut. <laughs> And for the tops of the boots, I left enough rhinestones to be folded inside and glued down. And using clothespins was also really helpful for this part. And now for the nail polish. The black zippers stood out a little too much for my liking, so I decided to paint them. Now I worked with my SE No Place Like Chrome Silver Polish. And using thin layers was really helpful. I probably did between three to four layers by the time that I was done. And I used the nail polish brush for the zipper pull and teeth of the zipper, lightly brushing it on top. I also painted parts of the original boot that were still visible. And as I said earlier, I kind of miscalculated a few times and ended up with some black spots where rhinestones were missing. And to fix that, I just added some of the polish on top and it worked like a charm. Now don't forget to get both sides of the zipper pull as well as to let your zipper dry while unzipped. And by pulling the zipper pull up after everything dried, I was able to get the very bottom part of the zipper painted. And here you can see the before and after with the zippers. It's a subtle difference, but it really makes the whole boot come together. I believe this was about one to two layers of the nail polish. And then for the final touch, I used a small paintbrush from the craft store to get that fabric in between the zipper teeth and the boot itself. And here are what the zippers look like, all painted, all done with all three to four layers of paint on top. I love how they came out, I think it looks absolutely stunning. And before the black by itself was very, very distracting, but now that the whole boot is silver, I love how they look. I used some more glue to make sure the rhinestones along the zipper were firmly anchored, and that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. It was so much fun to make, and I'm really happy with how the boots came out. Let me know how you think I did down below in the comments, and if you guys have used rhinestones to bedazzle anything in your life. Let me know if you'd like to see more DIYs, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.